Hi viewers, today I am going to make a review on Airmail Vality 71J fountain pen. If you see the total length of fountain pen is exactly 150, uh, 154 mm. Just I am adding uh, 4 mm extra. So and the uh, diameter of the pen is of the holding area this time telling you diameter of the holding area is 12 mm sorry it is 12.3 mm here 12.3 mm and in the exact holding area it comes around 11 mm okay the nib is uh, 8 number 8 and you can buy exact nib uh, in our website and uh, let me uh, depend uh, check the writing how it writes See, there should be sufficient gap between the uh, tip of the nib and uh, tip of the feeder, so uh, so that you will get a good flow. If you are not getting a good flow or a scratchy write, writing, and then uh, the major factor is in the ink and not in the nib. So ink is acting as a lubricant between the paper and the tip of the nib, so that the uh, nib glides smoothly on the paper. Uh, so. And even nib is also a factor i am not denying about that but uh, in the brand new pens uh, whenever we dispatch we check the tip of the nib so that you will get the right product in your hand so now i am dipping the uh, uh, pen with our violet ink so whenever you're purchasing from us and uh, double check whether it is for uh, a fine nib or extra i mean uh, medium nib so uh, both has a different formula so if you use fine nib in uh, medium pen and then uh, the flow will be uh, uh, there will be more flow and then uh, it will wet the paper Yeah, the flow is really good. So again, we are telling. So whenever uh, you get a, a scratchy uh, feeling, and then you need to change the ink. And uh, by experiment, you need to uh, check which ink is uh, fitting for you. And uh, please use uh, low viscous inks. I will show you. See, I dismantle the nib and uh, the feeder. To remove the feeder, just you press over the feeder and then just rotate and pull it, and the feeder will come out. Okay, if you see, um, a small uh, section is made on the top of the feeder, so this is called fountain, and this is the uh, uh, port which is connecting the ink reservoir. And the tip of the nib so this is where the ink flows so if if the section will be very smaller in the case of uh, uh, fine tip nibs so uh, you need to use low viscous ink in uh, which will have a good flow in this uh, lesser cross section okay and uh, if you want to um, have more flow you need to rework this uh, area by using a blade or something you can just scratch it and remove some material in that area so that more flow comes uh, to the nib okay uh, if you don't uh, get any low viscous sink this is the uh, uh, rework which has to be done in the feeder and for inserting just to press the nib and uh, feeder together it will go on perfectly fit for removing only you need to hold together and then you need to twist it okay so the nib and feeder will come perfectly like this okay and uh, while inserting please ensure uh, the, uh, the gap between the tip of the nib and uh, tip of the uh, feeder and uh, after insertion please check the radius portion in the feeder should exactly match with the tip of the uh, grip okay so it means the uh, nib fitting is perfect or else what will happen there will be gap between uh, the inner layer of the grip and as well as the feeder so the ink leak problem will come and if you uh, see the tank of this uh, uh, 71j it has a 
a big tank so more volume of uh, ink can be held so for students it is an ideal choice and uh, for professionals too because uh, two weeks once you can uh, fill the ink and uh, whenever you fill the ink you it is be best practices to remove the feeder and use a brush uh, you can dedicate a uh, toothbrush for this and uh, clean the uh, fountain area the passage because normal all the uh, most of the dye uh, based inks will sediment uh, uh, in the usage okay so it is better to have a, a brush and clean the area whenever you fill and to increase the life of the threads normally the plastic threads and the ebonite threads uh, it will have wear and tear whenever you open and close uh, for a long time so it is b better to apply vaseline in this area it is available in uh, medical shops in all medical shops even a 10 rupees packet will last for you for years okay so uh, these are the some good practices uh, to use uh, such uh, eyedropper model pins and whenever you buy from uh, pens from our site and if you see ink in the nib and uh, you can uh, ensure that we have tested the product before the dispatch okay thank you uh, viewers